Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and a brand new series we're starting. I'm super excited to announce that we're starting the under 400 challenge. So we're going to be playing Pokemon Storm Silver for this run, which is a hack of Pokemon Soul Silver, supposedly making it quite a lot harder and adding some new Pokemon and stuff. Um, I have played Storm Silver in the past, but it's been a long time, so I'm excited to get into this one again and also add a little bit of a challenge with my under 400 challenge. So I came up with the under 400 challenge to try to make Pokemon games a little bit more difficult because obviously if you play them a lot and you play them the normal way, they just become too easy and repetitive. So I came up with this challenge to increase the difficulty and kind of try to have some more fun. So with the under 400 challenge, there's a couple of rules that we need to go through. Uh, the first one obviously is I can only use Pokemon with a base stat total under 400. Um, so just to give you an idea of actually how bad that is, I'm going to show you a couple Pokemon here that are too good. So more than 400. I know what you're thinking, those Pokemon were shit. And those Pokemon were too good, so you can imagine the ones that we're going to be able to use. So that's the first rule, Pokemon only under 400. Um, our second rule is I'm not going to use any items during a battle. So I can give them held items, I can use them outside the battle, but during the battle, no healing, no items, nothing. Um, so that's going to add to the difficulty as well. And then the last and third rule is I'm going to try to put the battle style on set. So normally it will tell you what Pokemon is going to be sent out next by a trainer. I'm going to switch it to set so we don't get to find out who's next and we don't get the option to switch. The next guy will just come out. So hopefully that will add to the difficulty as well and uh, make this game a little bit interesting. I decided not to do a Nuzlocke for this run because to be honest I just needed a break from the Nuzlocke. It's very stressful playing the game and trying to not let your Pokemon die, so I thought I'd take it easy with this one. Um, it's still going to be difficult, it's still going to take me multiple tries on, on many trainers, I know that, but at least we won't have to worry about them dying. So like I said, Storm Silver is a hack of Pokemon Soul Silver, and it's basically the same story, um, but they added some new Pokemon, new new events, new gift Pokemon, stuff like that. And I think they made the game harder. So uh, it's been a while since I played this. So I'm really excited to hop into it. And uh, hopefully you guys are into this one too. And I can show you what Storm Silver is all about. So we're gonna pick the boy character here. And our name of course is Sly as usual. All right, my name is Sly, yes. Now what I wanna do in this run is for the nicknames, if if I can come up with my own nickname, great, but I'd like to name the Pokemon after you guys in the comments. So if, if you are commenting on the video or answering my questions of the day or anything like that, I might just name one of my team members after you, if that's all right, of course. All right, so Oak's gonna shut the hell up now we're gonna hop in here so we're gonna head on downstairs we got no menu here on the right but i think i think our mom is going to hook us up with some options here and we get the running shoes right off the bat and i'm definitely okay with that and the bicycle okay i think she also just gave us the game boy sounds let me look at that. I think she gave us, there they are, a music player that allows you to listen to a nostalgic sounds. It's operated with a single switch. I think, oh, hell yeah. So if I turn that on, it's gonna play the original Pokemon Gold sounds, which I prefer, makes me, makes me happy to hear those. Okay, we're gonna set with our options here. Battle style is gonna be going to set. Um, tech speed fast, obviously. And we'll pick a nice little frame. I always like this frame. 
the last one. <clears throat> All right. So I think we're good. Let's head on over. We got our running shoes and the bicycle already, which is awesome. And we're going to exit our house with a little Meryl bumping into us. And I think this is Lyra. Pretty sure she has a crush on us, if I remember correctly. She doesn't even talk to us. Okay, well, we'll deal with that later. Then we got this dude outside here. Okay. Wow, rude. If only we could beat him up. All right, Professor Elm's lab. Hi, Sly, I've been waiting for you to arrive. Is he going to give us one right now? <clears throat> Phone's ringing. I know a person named Mr. Pokemon who finds all sorts of crazy stuff. Oh, he's going to send us to Mr. Pokemon's house. And I think right now we get to pick our starter. So, if you follow me on Twitter, at SlyCesor, you would have seen my post, uh, my poll about voting for my next starter. And I also said if you were to comment on my most recent video, your vote, then you would count as three votes. So I have the totals here. Uh, it looks like Chikorita is coming in third with only 16 out of the 79 votes on Twitter and zero on YouTube. Um, Cyndaquil is going to come in second place here with 29 votes on Twitter out of the 79 total plus one YouTube comment which counts as three, so Cyndaquil ended up with a total of 32. And our winner, Totodile, ended up with 34 votes on Twitter out of the 79, plus three comments on YouTube, so that's nine extra for a total of 43 votes. So Totodile won this one by actually quite a bit. So I wanna thank you guys for helping me pick, either voting on Twitter or commenting on my video or both. Um, and obviously you guys wanted me to use Totodile, so hopefully I'm pleasing most of you with this choice, and if not, I apologize, but you were in the minority. So we picked our starter, which is Totodile. Now when most of you voted, you probably didn't realize that I wouldn't be able to evolve my starter, because if you look at Croconaw's base stat total, I believe it's only, I believe it's 405, which is just over what we need it to be at. So unfortunately, if I'm going to use Totodile for this game, it has to stay a Totodile. So whether that would have influenced your choice or not, I'm not sure, but that's what we're stuck with. And Totodile is going to get a nickname. What are we going to name our Totodile? So we got Macho Mudkip in the comments who said, choose Totodile for your next playthrough. So we're going to name him Macho, which is a cool name anyways. What am I doing here? Can't figure this out. Macho. There we go. Yes. All right, so he's gonna let us take our boy Macho, or is it a girl? I didn't even look. I didn't even bother to check. Our Totodile is a male, okay. And this guy's gonna give us something, potions. Now I'm gonna have to remember not to use items in battle. It might be hard at first to remember, but I'll try my best. Oh, here we got Lyra again. Now, is she gonna talk to us this time? You got yourself a Pokemon. I gotta say, it's really cute. Okay. Who knows? Oh, now this bitch, want, what does she want? Oh, she wants us to go talk to our mom, probably. Yeah, okay. Gotta go talk to mom before we go anywhere. The repair shop, where? 
I would never know where this repair shop is. She said it was at the repair shop. I don't see a repair shop anywhere. Yes, I remember how. Please don't explain it to me. And you're going to anyways. All right. Peace out, mom. We are dipping with our boy. Oh my God. What do you want now, professor? Oh, he's going to give us his phone number. God damn. Okay. Couldn't have done that earlier. What is the point of that sequence? Okay, we're going to... We don't have any Pokeballs yet, so I can't get anyone else on the team. <clears throat> Wild Zigzagoon. That's new. Okay, well that's obviously something new they added to this game. Is the Pokemon in the routes, so Zigzagoon is going to be a little different from what we're used to. Hopefully it doesn't kill us. I'm just trying to get some XP out here and y'all trying to finish me off. Alright, Zigzagoon's down. And we didn't even level up. What was the point of that? Alright, we're gonna head up this way. I don't know if... I'm gonna check all the areas, so... If you ever see me skip something, like I don't check a house or I don't check an area, it's probably because I went and checked it and then just cut it out of the video. Because... We really don't need to see everything, so... If I don't show something, it's because nothing was there, and I probably did check it. So don't worry. Let's get out of here. Okay. Make our way through here. Through the grass. I don't think I can fight anyone else. I'm going to die. Poochiena, that's another new one. Maybe I can attack this thing. It's only level 3. Especially if it's going to use Odor Sleuth. There we go. Nice little crit. And we are level 6. Water gun already? Is that normal? I actually have no idea. We're going to see a lot of surprises in this game. Okay, we're in Cherry Grove and this guy is going to show me a bunch of stuff. Oh, we have, we don't even have a choice. I think normally you have a choice, but now we have to watch him do this. Okay, Route 30 is this way. Thanks, bud. What have we got here? This is the C. Well, thanks. I'm not blind. Your house. Oh, at least he gives us the old rod. I don't think they do that in the regular game. All right, well, we got an old rod. I don't really know if we can catch anything good with it, but let's heal up our Totodial and head north to Mr. Pokemon's. All right. <clears throat> this first part of the game is always pretty slow, so I usually don't take my time and just get through it as quick as I can. Oh, he's back for more. What is with this game and people coming back? A guy gen map card. Okay. We'll take the map. Okay, now just get out of my face. Let me continue. Route 30. I gotta start thinking about what kind of Pokemon. Like, Spinarak could work. Because I believe, I believe we can evolve a Spinarak and still use it. Like, there's certain Pokemon we can evolve that it will be under 400. So I'm going to have to do some research, but I believe Ariados is one of them. But we don't have any Pokeballs right now, so we'll come back. And since I'm not doing a Nuzlocke, I can just catch whatever I want whenever I want, which is kind of nice as well. So, if, if there's a Pokemon you guys see in the grass you want me to use, just let me know in the comments feel free to let me know and i'll definitely consider it oh god this game really really doesn't let you skip anything like normally you wouldn't have to get this you could just go in the house if you wanted to but he is not gonna let this go i guess we're collecting apricorns now 
Apricorns, whatever you want to call them. No, I didn't want to go in there. Get that. Okay. And we don't even have repels at this point, so it's... Oh, a C dot. That could be cool. Gotta run for now. I really would like to find a shiny in one of these runs. Like, while I'm playing on-screen recording for you guys, finding a shiny would be huge. It's been a while since I found a shiny in game. Sir, there's some cool Pokemon in the grass here. That can, you know what? That could be the question of the day. Have you guys ever found a full odds shiny Pokemon in a playthrough, whether it, whether it be on an emulator or your Game Boy? Um, and if you have, what was it? And if you have multiple times, let me know. Let me know in the comments if you've ever found a full odds shiny Pokemon in the wild. Or, uh, and if you have, which one did you find? I actually have found a couple. Um, in Pokemon Gold, I found a shiny Rattata a long time ago. And then Pokemon Diamond, I actually found two shiny Geodudes within a couple of encounters of each other. It was really odd. I found a shiny Geodude and then I caught it. And then a couple encounters later, I found another one and... I don't know, the game could have glitched or something, but it was really weird. What we got? Oh, this is Cynthia. What is she doing here? Have you heard the story that tells the tale of Legendary Trainer? No. Oh, she's going to tell us a whole damn story here. Oh, God. The archaeology in the Johto region appears to back the existence of this story. She talking about like Arceus or something? Oh, she's oh shit. Okay. Oh my god! Wow. She just gonna hand us an Eevee? What? Did you guys know about this? I had no idea about this. She's just gonna hand us an Eevee, which unfortunately we can't evolve because all of the Eevee evolutions have 525, but. I guess I could use an Eevee. We're we gonna name this thing. I have no clue. All right, we're gonna go with Ross. I don't know why. But we have a male Eevee here, and uh, I don't know, the name Ross just just felt right. So if there's a Ross watching in the, in the viewers here, this one's for you. If not, it's just Ross. All right, well, that was a nice little surprise from Cynthia. And we got another Pokemon. Professor Elm is going to wonder how we got another Pokemon without any Pokeballs. Oh, it has a good bit. That's a good ability. Powers up moves of the same type. That's actually a nice ability that we might want to might wanna consider keeping Eevee. All right. Let's head inside here and see what's going on. You must be sly. Yep, I'm sly. And we got Professor Oak in here too. The mystery egg. I wonder if this one still hatches to Togepi or not. We gotta take it to Professor Elm. He's gonna heal us up, which we didn't really need, but that's fine. And Professor Oak is here. What's he gonna do? He's gonna take a look at our Totodile. What's he gonna do? Oh, he gives us our Pokedex, okay. I thought Elm was supposed to do that. And he gives us his phone number. All right, and he's gone. And what does that mean? Do we, j do we just dip? Oh, we gotta go back to give the egg to Professor Elm. <clears throat> and of course he's gonna call us Oh, it's a disaster. It's just terrible. Oh, get back here. I'm helpless. Like you have, <laughs> he has two Pokemon with him. We only have the one Totodile he gave us. Like he should be able to defend himself. I don't understand. But regardless, we're going to rush back 
And of course we're going to be too late because that red haired dick stole one. Whatever. We're going to rush back. I guess he's going to pick a Chikorita. Which is kind of nice for us. Because Chikorita is probably not the best starter. <clears throat> Although he can evolve his starter, we cannot. Passerby boy has a Chikorita. So we're going to scratch the shit out of this thing. Whole bunch of times here. He's just... Oh, we got a nice little crit. Okay. Macho to level 7. And just like that, he's done. Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Are you? I don't think you are. What? We stole his trainer card? That's interesting. But we saw his name. I don't know what... What should I name him? Part of me just wants to go with dicks again, especially because... This guy is actually a dick, but... I guess we have a few moments to think about it. And the police officer is here, and there's still a Pokeball sitting in there that he could have used. Which is actually the Cyndaquil. But... Don't use it, Professor Elm. Oh, Lyra's gotta come in and... Yeah, well, we saw him too. Why don't we tell him that? Oh, we gotta decide his name now. Well, you know what? Last time he was Dix, this time he can be Cox. Because it's the same shit in a different game. Cox was his name. Yes, it was. Alright. And I guess he's our rival. Lyra isn't really our rival. She's just some girl who's going to follow us around. So, Professor's going to hand us the mystery egg. I mean, we give him the mystery egg. And he's going to send us on our way to battle some gyms. Alright. Well... Oh, now we gotta go talk to our mom again. Okay. So we'll go tell our mom we're going on a journey here. Mm, she wants us to save our money. You know what? She might buy us some stuff, so we'll have her save a little bit. Because it still gives you money, but she saves a portion of it. I don't know how much, but... Oh, she's already got some. <clears throat> okay. Alright, Route 29 and Lyra. Oh yeah, does Lyra help tell us how to catch a Pokemon? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's gonna... She's gonna learn us right now. By <laughs> yeah, we definitely saw that, Lyra. Okay. I bet, yeah, we do know how, actually. Thank God. Thank you for understanding. You know what? Maybe Lyra is the real deal. So we got some Pokeballs. How many did she give us? 15. Damn. She really filled us up. Stop it. Get some help. Okay. Let's just start going here. Actually, well, I want to see what's in this route here. I only saw a Geodude before. There could be some other stuff. What have we got? Clefairy? That could be okay. I don't know if I really want to use a Clefairy at this point. But at least it's an option. Like I said, if you guys see a Pokemon you want me to use, just let me know in the comments. And I'll definitely consider it. But we got Geodude... Which I'm kind of sick of using, to be honest. And I saw a Clefairy. Oh, a Shinx. That could be interesting. Maybe I'll catch that. I, Shinx is a really cool Pokemon. I always love using Shinx. 
And speaking of Shinx, that makes me quite excited for the uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes, because those are kind of the last games that were nostalgic for me, Diamond and Pearl, so I think those remakes could be really fun. Let's, I think he's going to kill me. Let's try to throw a ball at it here. I'm so used to worrying about if my Pokemon die, but it actually doesn't matter now. But anyways, we got ourselves a nice little Shinx here. I think I might use that. I don't know if we can evolve it into Luxio or not. Uh, let me actually just check that really quick. The Luxio is only 363, so we can use a Luxio. I can't evolve it into Luxray, but this, this could be a good member to our team. So I'm definitely going to keep him around for now. It is a male, so we'll, let's see what are we going to name it. Let's go with Freddy. I don't know why. Ready. Nice. All right. Cut ourselves a Shinx. Now I'm gonna. I probably won't catch anything else just yet. Three is decent for now. I don't know if I'll keep that Eevee around, but we'll see. Alright, we're heading on to Cherry Grove. I'm going to heal up really quick. I know we didn't get a whole lot done this episode, but there's a lot of there's a lot of ex explanation at the beginning and uh, startup stuff that just takes a while. So I don't want to keep the episodes too long this time around. So I think I'm going to stop here for today. Uh, but thank you for tuning in, whether you're just here to see the starter or... Um, you're looking forward to this run and you're going to watch the other episodes as well. But um, thank you so much for watching. So if you like this episode, please drop a like. Um, why not start setting the like goal? Let's try to get 10 likes. So please drop a like if you don't mind. And consider subscribing if you're not already. We've got lots more episodes of this coming up along with some different types of theme team Pokemon showdown battles. So stay tuned for that as well. But thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.